If you're just using the basic email service that came with your internet service provider or your domain name provider, you may be experiencing problems like instability or performance issues, difficulty synchronizing calendars, uh, contacts, and emails across multiple devices, and maybe even storage space issues where you feel like you constantly have to delete emails to keep your storage space free. Most basic email systems use a system called POP, which is a very outdated and old email system which basically only lets you to receive email on one computer at a time. So let's just say someone sends you an email and your computer will download it from the server. That's essentially downloading the only copy of that email. So then if you've got a second or third computer you want to download that email onto, unfortunately that email won't be available to you as it was already downloaded by the first computer. Modern professional email systems store all your emails in the cloud. So if you do have multiple devices, each of those devices can access that same email at the same time and synchronize them across all your devices. These newer email systems use technologies such as IMAP and Exchange to synchronize email between the server and your computer. These systems give you a number of other advantages such as a rich webmail experience, so you can access your email from wherever you are on the go, large amounts of storage space so you never have to delete an email again, and collaboration features with your colleagues such as calendar sharing and file sharing. The two major email systems that we recommend is Google G Suite and Microsoft Office 365. If your business is moving towards more web-based applications, then you might appreciate what Google is doing with G Suite. In addition to email, G Suite also offers you a number of other features such as contacts, calendars and files all stored in the cloud and accessible on any computer with a web browser. If your organisation is already using and is familiar with Outlook, then Microsoft Office 365 is the obvious solution for you. Office 365 provides perfect integration with Outlook, so it will synchronise your emails, your contacts and your calendars perfectly. Microsoft Office 365 still offers you web-based access to your mail, contacts, calendars, and OneDrive file storage. However, it's not quite as feature-rich as G Suite, so it will reward you for using it in the desktop environment rather than within a web browser. Google have two G Suite plans, Basic and Business. Most people start out on Basic first and will upgrade to Business as needed in the future. The main difference between these two plans is the basic plan only gives you 30 gigabytes of storage, whereas the business plan gives you a full one terabyte of storage, which is more than anyone should ever need. The basic plan starts at $6 per user per month, and the business plan starts at $12 per user per month. When it comes to Microsoft Office 365, there are two main plans that you'd be interested in. There's the Essentials plan, which just gives you basic email access, and then there's the Premium plan, which will give you your email solution, plus the full suite of Office desktop applications like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and Outlook. The Business Essentials plan is $6.90 per user per month, and the Business Premium plan is $17.20 per user per month. In conclusion, Google offers a slightly cheaper solution with a strong focus on a rich web-based experience. This is great for diverse environments with multiple devices running different operating systems. Whereas Office 365 is probably better suited to Windows-based workplaces where people are already familiar with using applications like Outlook and Microsoft Word. Whether you're starting up a new business or when migrating your existing business email, get in touch with us and we'll talk about the best possible solution for your business and the business premium plan starts at $17.20. The business essentials plan starts at $6.90, 17 dollars Yep. Yeah, write it back in the back of your head. Yeah, I'm just like <laughs> scratching it into my brain.